how to make trading notes in Notion or trading journal. So trading journal is very important for you to do because in trading, you will have a lot of factors that you need to train yourself in order to become a profitable and successful trader. And that includes tracking your trading activities so that you can have a more informed decision in the future. Okay, so let's dive into it. In this trading notes that I made from an inspiration that I saw is we have here our journal in lists view, in the table view, and we have our journal in the calendar view. Also, I've slapped in a reminder for me to read once in a while. All right. And in your calendar view, you can see your wins, losses, or if it's still ongoing, and your buy and sell price. All right. So I'll show you how to make it. All right, so let's make a new page and then let's call this trading notes too. And before we make our trading journal template, I just want to switch this page into full width by going to the top right menu here and toggle full width to on. And what this does is that it will make your page full with so that you can have a better look at your tables and your calendar and also your reminders. Okay, so firstly, we want to have a database for you to put your uh, journal in. So let's click forward slash in your keyboard and enter view. And in this view, let's just choose table view and click new database when the menu pops up. Okay, now you have a new database for your trading journal. Let's call this journal. Okay, so now let's add tags in our trading journal here. Okay, so for reference, I'll just add a view for my previous trading journal database that I've made. I just wanna make sure that it is according to this uh, template here. You can You can ignore, I just want to add this for my reference. So the first property that we want to add is, of course, the date, because that is the most important. And let's click Edit Property and change it to Date. And next is your bias. Let's just call it. You can, you can either make your bias like a text here, or if you just want to add a short um, explanation in your bias, like only bullish, bearish, neutral. You can also make it a toggle here. In this case, I'll, I'll, I'll use a different approach. I'll make this bias property a select, a select option so that you can select between fixed um, biases that you can choose. Okay, so let's add the options to be bullish and bearish also neutral. Okay, so of course you can change the color, color later on. I will show you how to do that in just a second. Next is the point of interest. Now again, you can make your point in, of interest a specific amount that you want to sell your stock in, or you can make it a technical point of interest in which the select option might be better for you. But in this case, I like my point of interest to be my amount, uh, the price that I want my stock to be sold in. So I'll add a text type and let's call this point of interest. Okay, next is the buy and sell property. So for the buy and sell property, I like to use number, of course. I think you should number two. And on the number format, let's change it to US dollars. All right. Let's change this to buy. And the next property is sell. And let's change the type to, again, number. Then the format to be US dollars. All right. So next is the outcome. So let's add outcome 
and let's make this select because there's only three options that you can uh, do here. It's either win, loss, or if it's still ongoing. Now, I like to track my ongoing trades, but if you don't want to, you don't have to add the trade ongoing uh, menu. Okay, so let's add the outcome options to be wins, losses, and trade ongoing. Let's let's not worry about the color for now because I'll show you how to change it in a second. Okay, and then lastly, but m I think most importantly is the notes here. So ideally, you want to add as many details in your notes here because that is well that's that's what makes this table a journal instead of just a tracking um a tracking interface for you for your trades it's a journal because you can add notes like your emotions that day i was feeling really really good about this buy or uh, something like that and ideally you want to also add achieve target stop loss or you know your what your what drives your decision at that point okay now let's populate the data here i'll just copy paste my my dummy data if you want to say it like so i'll block the table here click control copy and control v control c control v <laughs> never mind okay so let's add it um manually NASDAQ 100 and NYSE. Let's add dates here. So, for example, I do it today and this is tomorrow, and maybe it's the day after tomorrow. Okay, and my bias here is neutral. I'm feeling bullish in this um, stock here and bearish on my NYSE stock. And let's change the point of interest. Okay, let's put it, let's put a random number here. So, maybe magically the xy goes into 880 and then let's let's put 15 and 12 and a half for the bottom one just for the sake of um for example and then uh, here i'll put my where i buy it so maybe it's 78 dollars and then i buy this at 14.7 and i buy this at 12 and a half dollars for Twelve dollars, for example, and then on the sell point, I'll let's say for example uh, it surpassed my expectations, and I sell this for eighty-one dollars, and then the sell on the Nasdaq maybe like fifteen, and then it's let's say this at eleven point nine. All right, so as you can see here, we are winning here, and we are also winning here. And here we have a loss. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the loss color to red to further signify the losses. All right, we don't need this reference table anymore, so let's just delete it. Okay, now you can either stop from here and add a calendar um, on the bottom here, like so. So let's go ahead and type forward slash and go to view and like calendar view and make and this is your data source your data source is the source on top of this so let's click the our journal database that we've just made and as you can see here it's another view of your uh, main database so it's not a new database and to change your view let's go ahead and click this overview oh sorry i think i put the wrong database okay so let's rename this database so that we don't get it confused with the previous one view and calendar view and put a new journal all right perfect and click your table view here and click edit view and let's change our layout to be calendar there you go perfect now what we want to do is we add a view so that we can view not just the stock name but also the bias and etc that what whatever you want so let's put let's click our three point button here the burger menu on the calendar view and let's choose the properties to be shown so maybe your 
buy and sell amount and if it's a win or a loss and let's add a maybe the bias okay so that's how pretty much you make your very simple trading notes now i'll just uh, stop it from here but uh, here's another quick step if you want it to be shown side by side you can do it easily by first of all we need to add a text here maybe a bb text this text is just to uh, add another column in our in our page and let's put it on top on the top most part of our page here and let's put this second one or the first one anyone and let's drag it all the way to the right until you see this small vertical blue rectangle here and then you let go of your mouse click all right now you have two columns and what you can do is that you can move this calendar view on the second column and your table view on the left column and vice versa your choice okay oops okay so that's pretty much how you make your simple trading notes and and trading journal i hope you have the best of luck in your trading journey. Thank you for watching.